Hey there, Psych2Go fans. We'd like to thank you for the love and support you've continued to give us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health accessible to everyone. So let's begin another trip down psychology lane. Can you name some of the qualities you look for in a best friend? You want someone you feel comfortable with, someone you love spending time with, someone who's always there for you, someone who knows just how to cheer you up when you're having a bad day. And above all else, a best friend is someone you can let your guard down with. Someone who knows just how crazy you actually are and loves you for it anyways. Well, here are 10 weird things only best friends would do together. One, you have telepathic conversations together. Do you and your best friend have entire conversations with nothing but your facial expressions? Is the sideways glance between you two a language entirely your own? While it may sound cheesy to other people, anyone who has a best friend would surely understand what it's like to be so close to someone that you can practically read each other's minds. Two, you support each other's crazy antics. Your best friend wants to have an impromptu dance party in public, no problem. They wanna drunkenly get on stage and sing their heart out at karaoke? Sounds perfect. The bottom line is nothing is ever too crazy or too embarrassing for you to do, as long as you have your best friend by your side. You'll be there to support all their crazy antics till they become great memories for you two down the line. Three, you communicate in a secret language. Have you and your bestie invented a language that's entirely your own? Do others stare at you disbelievingly while you have conversations at an entirely separate frequency? You and your bestie go years back and the two of you have so many inside jokes and references that it's almost impossible for anyone else to understand what you say to each other all the time. You communicate through code words so often that it's like the two of you really do have your own secret language. Four, you text each other about everything. If it was anyone else, you'd be annoyed with them, spamming your inbox with a dozen different text messages all in the span of a few hours. But this is normal for you and your best friend. You're used to texting each other all the mundane details of your day or every slightly interesting thought that pops up in your head. You talk about things like what you ate for lunch, how you did on your math test, or the cute barista at the coffee shop who flirted with you for a bit. Because honestly, no detail is too small to share. Five. You come over uninvited. Do you barge into their home with ice cream? Your best friend is so used to you coming over to their house all the time that you don't even need to be invited anymore. And you've left behind a few of your things because of how often you crash at their place, like books or a toothbrush or a pair of pajamas. You know your way around their kitchen too. You spend most of your time in their room and never feel out of place at their family dinners. Their parents even joke about adopting you but honestly, it feels like they already have. Six, you claim ownership of each other's things. Do you swipe their food without asking or lend them things you eventually forget are even yours in the first place? Whether it's sweaters, video games, books, bags, bikes, or just about anything, you and your best friend basically co-own everything together. It's an unspoken rule between best friends everywhere. What's yours is theirs and what's theirs is yours. Seven, you manage each other's love lives. Are you a pro at handling their love life crisis? The moment your best friend tells you they're interested in someone, you immediately make it your business to research all about them to see if they're good enough for your bestie. You do everything you can to help set them up. You even make elaborate plans together about what to say, what to wear, how to act, and how to impress them. Eight, you buy stuff for each other. Buying things for one another is one of the most undeniable signs of true friendship because it shows just how well you know your best friend. You make sure to stock up on all their favorite snacks so you can be prepared for any time they decide to randomly come over. And you always keep a few of their favorite things handy just in case they need cheering up on a bad day. Nine, you get each other out of bad situations. You can count the number of times your best friend has gotten you out of an awkward situation. And for that, you'll always be grateful for all the times they've steered you in the other direction before you could run into an ex or faked a worried phone call to get you out of a boring date. You know they'll always have your back, no matter what. And number 10, you have fun doing nothing. Last but certainly not least, a best friend is someone you can have fun with even when you do absolutely nothing together. 
You look forward to the days of you two just vegging out on their couch or lounging around in their room and talking about nothing in particular. Because the truth is, it doesn't really matter what you do as long as you have them around. Your best friend's company is all you need to have a good time. Do you relate to any of the things we mentioned here? Do you and your best friend do any of these weird and random things together too? Let us know in the comments below. Also, remember to like and share this video with your best friends and loved ones to bring a smile to their faces. Subscribe to Psych2O for more videos, and as always, thanks for watching.